Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ron Trace and we're back here with another trade and breakdown video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be going over my EU short during London session here, guys. Let's go ahead and dive right into the charts. So right here, guys, basically what I was looking for today, I was looking for a short position. Um, it is towards the end of the week. EU has been buying up. Usually, you know, usually from my personal experience and my personal analysis and my, you know, just trading for this year, usually during the end of the week, we start to see a end of the week reversal. So that was my narrative. EU, like I say, EU has been pretty much predominantly bullish for this week. So I was looking for a reason to get short and basically just a rebalance price, right? So coming into today, guys, I wanted to see a form of liquidity taken. What do we have here? Yesterday on Wednesday here, we printed equal highs and we left it. So we printed equal highs here. We dropped down the, the likelihood of price just continuing to fall off without taking this out is very, very low. So I said, hey, I want to see London create a Judas swing to go out and take out the equal highs. What is a Judas swing? Judas swing is basically a fake move going up to get the um, get these buyers in. In this case here, you know, so we had a Judas swing to get these, you know, greedy buyers in that still was trying to chase buys after, we, after we've been buying all week. So right here at 315, we went up and took out equal highs. The moment I seen that, that was the first check off. After that, I needed to see a market structure shift. Well, where is market structure shift then? Well, what do we got right here, guys? I'm going to try to um, print it out here so you guys can see a little bit more better here. Boom. What do we have? Okay, so we had an imbalance here at 230. It got rebalanced, right? So what do I always say? If we are bullish, right? So we had an imbalance that got rebalanced and we rallied up. If we are bullish, what's the likelihood of us coming and taking this out? Well, in this instance here, we were not bullish, guys. We had a market structure shift. Price came down and took out this um, in, you know, this short-term low here. So short-term low got taken out. The moment that got takes out, guys, I went ahead and went to my lower time frame. So let's go to the four-minute. I took this entry from my four-minute time frame, right? So like I say, right here, guys, this is that same low on the five minute. We had a, I mean, 15 minute, we had a market structure shift. Price rebalanced right back up. So I'm going to be honest, guys, I did take this entry a little bit. This was a pretty much an aggressive entry. Um, as you can see, it did work out. I wanted to wait the price come back and fill in, a, you know, all of this fat value gap. But I said, hey, I'm not missing this setup here. So I went ahead and took my entry literally right here. The moment price came back up inside of this small fat value gap here. My stop loss went right above here, so I had about the 6.8 um, stop loss right above this immediate term high here. Price should not go, but like I say, price should not be breaking these if we are bearish. In this instance here, it worked out in my favor. And as you can see here, um, for my targets, guys, based on the 15-minute time frame, we had a amazing, amazing move here, guys. Like I say, went down for drawing liquidity here for sales side liquidity. Um, yeah, and I booked about 50 pips. So let's go ahead and be transparent and show you guys that right quick. Go ahead to my final account. So boom, right here, you guys can see, um, you know, sep I say no September, November 17th, right here, guys. My three setups here. Um, like I say, booked, booked around about 4%, 4.5% here on this setup. So very, very, very grateful, guys. Like I say, I am almost done with my phase one challenge. Um, like I say, I was very, very close um, to passing it, but I did make a crazy mistake, and I took partials too early uh, on this setup. Uh, I didn't let it really run all the way down. took partials a little bit too early. Um, and yeah, so like I say, guys, it, it, that's no problem though, because like I said, my model shows, my model um, presents itself a lot. So it's no need for me to get, you know, greedy or revenge mode just to pass a challenge when I have, you know, it's about 10 to 15 days still remaining on my challenge. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, quick summary, EU short during London session. We took out equal highs. We had a fake Judas swing to go do that. We got the greedy buyers in. We had a market structure shift, imbalance. They got rebalanced. We should not be taking those out if we are bullish. Once that is taken out, we drop down to our lower time frames and we find fat value gaps, order blocks, imbalances, BPRs, whatever you want to call it, whatever makes you happy. You know, so like I say, market structure shift, rebalance here. I'm taking my entry here, stop above here. You know, we just live with the results, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, guys, sorry for not posting this week, guys. I know I haven't posted all week. Um, I'm very, very sorry about that. I will be posting more content. And, yeah, guys, catch you guys in the next video. And, yeah, peace.